It's Ty, the real estate guy, and I have a unique property here in South Jordan, Utah, in the Daybreak community. This is 2,600 finished square feet, four bedrooms, three and a half bathrooms, but what makes this so unique? It's basically brand new. The house was built in 2016, but it's never been lived in. <laughs> this property was built in 2016, but what makes it so unique? The home has never been lived in. That's right. You get the fridge, the washer, the dryer, that's all included. Let's go take a tour. Okay, stepping inside here, you can see wide open family area. Got a fan up there. Across here, you have a coat closet. There you go. Pretty standard, right? Step into that corner over here and give you guys a feel for size. Take our time so you can enjoy it. Okay, so you can see you got the kitchen and dining area across here. Okay, so when you hit this dining area right here, you can see chandelier there. You've got a nook space here. And then you got some side doors going out to a very small side yard here. And then once again, you have a nook over here as well. That door is your stairs to the basement. And those cookies are for the people coming to the open house. Let's walk on through the kitchen here. You can see dishwasher, oven, refrigerator, microwave, that's all included. Spin around, you got this island right here, really nice island. Step backwards here. Okay, so coming in from the garage, I'll turn around and show you that in a second. Got this hanging space here for your coats. And then you got a half bathroom on the main floor. So this is your only half bathroom, but there's three other bathrooms. You got this nice wide space here for the toilet. And then let's go look at the garage out here. It's a two car garage. You can see what's nice is it's a little bit wider. A lot of these smaller houses sometimes have really thin garages and they're not actually two car garages. <laughs> but let's go step out here. Give you guys a feel for kind of what you get. It's a rear entry. It makes the house look a lot nicer from the front. And so you can see the road right here. I'm gonna back up and show you the back of the house here. Okay, so there you go. You can see this section here, there's no stairs, so you can put a big pickup truck here and park maybe a smaller car here, but this is really deep. This is a deep garage, so you can easily get a big truck in here or a large van or whatever. You can see the family room clear over there. I'm just spin around and show you the kitchen one last time from this angle here. Nice refrigerator there, upgraded refrigerator. And you have can lights there in the ceiling. Let's go ahead and head upstairs. Okay, when you get to the top of the stairs here, you got the master bedroom to the right. We're gonna look at that last. You can see, nice wide hallway space here. Go straight to this bathroom first. So you got a full bathroom here. And a shove, right? A shove is a Shower tub combo. Okay, then, well, across the hall here, you got the laundry room. Oh, it's so yellow, it looks yellow. But laundry room there, and then this is bedroom number one. Stepping into bedroom number one, you're gonna see nice ceiling fan there, two windows. Step into the corner here, you can see space and size here, and this room has a mass, massive closet. So you can see here, you got all the same space here. You got a window, which is awesome. And then look at this way. Big, big, a lot of closet space there. Okay, now here's bedroom number two. This room has kind of a cool little nook back there in the corner. Once again, you have a fan on the ceiling. That's good for energy efficiency, right? You can turn on the fan instead of the AC so high. And then a little bit smaller closet here for sure. Step back in this corner here. Kind of give you a feel for the size there. And let's go ahead and go check out the master bedroom. I think you guys are gonna like this. First thing, you'll notice is a really nice fan. It's a cool fan. Let's get a little close up of that fan. So that's kind of a cool fan. 
And then I'm gonna step in the corner here. You got double windows here. And stepping into the corner, you can see this is a large space. There's plenty, 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 plenty of space here for a queen or king size bed and you know whatever dressers or cabinets you might have. And then now we come into the master bathroom, master closet area. So you can see, once again, you have a window in the closet. People love that for natural light. And then double hanging space here. Let's go ahead and spin around, show you the bathroom. Okay, so first thing you'll notice is you have double sinks. There's your toilet, but I think this is the advantage. This is, if you're gonna have a shelf, this is the way to do it. You can see that is a nice wide garden tub. So, if you need to take a bath, there's plenty of space in there and give you guys an angle of the bathroom right here. Okay, so now let's hurry up and head downstairs to the basement. Show you guys what that looks like. Once again, to get to the basement, you need to go through the kitchen and right through here. Okay, here we go. Let's head on down the stairs here to the basement. First thing you're gonna see is a nice wide open family room. Perfect place to get away, right? Either send the kids down here so you can have some peace and quiet or come down here yourself to get some peace and quiet. You might make a really good video game room for the kids or a playroom. You can see this room is massive. There's a ton of space here. Okay, so behind this door, this is gonna be your furnace, water heater, electrical panel, things like that. It's down here, right? There's electrical panel. And then this door here is gonna just be some storage space for you. So you could wall this area off if you wanted to and just have some storage there. Okay, so the cool thing about this house is if you have an older child living at home, there is a bedroom down here and a full bathroom. So you can see the bathroom here and once again, a shove. Then across the hall, this is what's cool. We've got some storage here, right? So double doors, plenty of like a big linen closet or a game closet if you wanted to. And then there's more storage under the stairs right here. So kind of a unique space that goes clear back there. And then across the hall, you have bedroom number four. So this is the fourth bedroom in the house here. I'm gonna step into that corner over there and kind of show you what you get. You can see a little stairs out there to get you out of here if there's a fire or something like that. But you can see it's pretty big space down here. I think any kid would love to have this quieter area of the house. And then you got a nice walk-in closet here. Plenty of room for most kids I know's clothes. Okay guys, that's it for this property. I have all the information, pricing, square footage, and etc., all below in the description. If you're looking to buy, sell, build a home, or invest in Utah real estate, please don't hesitate to reach out to me. If you'd like to see this property, please reach out to me for a private tour, and we'll catch you next time.